I'd like to tell you something that's unbelievable almost. Well, for a Southerner it is. It's 9.30 at night, actually it's a little after. Look how much light we have here. All around, I will shake, show you all the way around how much light we have, right? Oh boy, I'm telling you, life's beautiful, I love it. It's always something, man. If you will indulge me, it's 9.30 p.m. I will show you the sky, how much light we have. And the northern lights, sometimes, uh, no, wait, we should be able to see them right through that little uh, V right there. But this is absolutely 9.30 at night. Trust me. And this is how much light we have. It truly doesn't get dark here. Maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. No, maybe two o'clock in the morning to about 3.30 in the morning. It's actually dark, but it is mostly light. There's always a little bit of light all, all day. 22 hours a day, I'd say. You still see, 9.30 at night, you can still see the snow on the mountains. Quite incredible, wouldn't you say? I would say so too. Absolutely something here. I'm gonna look for the northern lights tonight. And that's north. Yep, that's north, right up over here. Sure is. Oh, you're Check this out. That's surreal, almost. It's amazing, Skeeter. It's amazing over here. We're just so glad. Oh, here they got deer in the yard. Oh, they don't want us, look how they are. They don't want us watching. Don't go out in the road, you silly well, I deer. I sure didn't mean to run them off. I didn't mean they can kill it. <laughs> this is uh, Clark's Road 70, and this is a path less traveled. I might see some wildlife up here. And this is not a tourist road. What is this? I know the temperature. Got two truckloads of cattle leave here. Go down our road leaving. They must be rounding them up to take them somewhere. Oh, yeah, look at here. Because I saw two truckloads already. Hey, little cattle. Well, hello, babies. Well, hello. Hi. They got lots to say. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's steep. That's got to be 10% grade. Oh. That's way steep. It's hard to tell on video, but you do it's it? steep. You could ski down this. You want to do it? Well, sure. Chalice National Forest. Look at this. It's so steep. You have to go down this in, uh, in first gear. There's a road way down there. This is what you can find if you get off the beaten path. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ears popping. This is beautiful. I think this is BLM. Management public land. We camp on it. For free. Set again. Long climb to get back up. It is steep too. Whoa, don't fall off this. One. It's way down there. What we look for this kind of a ride. Your normal tourist is not gonna be taking this ride. We came across this thing called corkscrew corkscrew grade that in itself is exciting just the name of it it's gonna be a ride see if we can take this road my goodness down there it's kind of a bit unnerving drive we're gonna find us a place to uh, turn around we decided to turn around we think it make the scooter six we go back up it's really really steep it's a bit louder than huh? me they may have brought these in this morning. I don't know. It's like they're here, but they're, I guess they're coming to get them. I don't see any water. It's none of my business, I guess. There's legal guidelines how long you can let them go without food and how long without water. I don't mean everybody's following them, but that's, there are guidelines for transport. Boise, Idaho, Vicious RV store. We decided to upgrade my uh, a different motorhome. Oh yeah, man, I've really been working. We upgraded to another RV, and my solar system over here, I had to dismantle it because we're trading this in, and they don't care anything about it. They say they don't care anything about the solar, but I'm gonna leave them a little bit, just enough 
that's just enough to run the refrigerator and it's like a thousand watts that is uh, coming in from the array but my four battleborn batteries down here i'm going to keep those in my inverters and all the little parts and pieces and uh, i'm going to install that on the new rv wow man and the new rv the people who are selling it left everything in it some good stuff too we're going to go through it and donate everything we can <laughs> I'm, i can't wait to show you what kind of rv it is it's an upgrade i gotta move all this stuff here compressor all my tools cindy's inside working man it's a mess you don't realize how much you have in a small place like this we're looking forward to a new rv though it's going to be nice we're going to use all this stuff now wow this, we had all that all you had all that in there is the center one? Oh, that's just that one. Holy mackerel. I need to take that. That's my degrees. So. Oh, that's your degree. That's your yeah. nursing degree. Look at that. Master's time. degree in medical science. Isn't that something? Master's in nursing. That's a lot of hard work right there. It was. It was a blessing. But anyway, look at all this. this. I mean, we don't keep our house like this, y'all. But this is why the people who are selling the other RV left everything. They didn't want to fool with this. Look at this. We're neat people. We don't live like this. But we're giving all this away. We're going through everything. Man, what a mess. We need to close the door now. And we're not going to be able to keep it cool in here at all. All right. Consider it done. Oh, man. All this stuff, y'all. Wow. I didn't know we had this much junk. We're here in Boise, Idaho. Ooh. 